Hey guys, this is a video in my MATLAB tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a linearly spaced vector using either the colon operator or linspace. I'll try to make this video detailed. Without further ado, let's get to it. Let's say you wanted to create a vector going from one to 15 with an increment of one. I'm going to assign uh, the vector name, the variable name to be A. Uh, so then I'll open a bracket and go for, uh, and type in values from one to 15. So one, two, three, and close off the bracket. And then I'll press enter. And you can see that MATLAB returns a row vector. If you wanted to turn this into a column vector, you can uh, type in B equals A and a single apostrophe to transpose it. So now we have this as a column vector. Alternatively, you could have done A equals uh, all of this and just a, a apostrophe there. And if you didn't want to see it in the command window, you could just suppress it with a semicolon and press enter. And now you see that it doesn't show up in the uh, command window, but you can still just view it uh, in the workspace. If you just double click here, and you can see it here. And uh, transposing it into a column vector might be easier to see in some cases. This method of creating vectors is okay if it's a small number of elements. However, let's say I wanted to create a vector with a thousand elements. This method would be way too arduous and inefficient. Instead, you can either use the colon operator or lens space to generate a linearly spaced vector. Let's clear the workspace and the command window. Now I'm going to make a row vector going from zero to 100 using the colon operator. I'm going to assign the variable name A to the vector, so A equals. Then I need to type in the first value of the vector, which is zero for this example. So zero colon 100 and press enter. This is all actually in one row, but due to a lack of space, it will be displayed like this. If you just double click here in the workspace, you can see that all of this is in one row. So let's close this. As you can see, the first element is zero and the last element is 100 and the increment is by one. If you wanted to transpose this, uh, you could uh, do A equals a parenthesis zero, colon 100, close the parentheses apostrophe. And if you wanted to even suppress that, you could do this and then view it in the, in the workspace like this. So one thing you'll notice, like I already mentioned, is that the increment is, is one. I haven't specified any increment, so the default increment is one. But uh, let's say so I have A equals zero colon one. Even here, the increment will be one by default. Maybe I don't want the increment to be one. Let's say I want it to be 0 0.1. Let's clear all of this out. Uh, let's say I'm going to make a vector that's going to go from zero to one with an increment of 0.1. So A equals zero colon 0 0.1 colon one, press enter. You can see now that the increment is 0.1. As you may have already figured out this middle term right here Tell, uh, tells MATLAB what the increment should be. If there are three terms, the middle term will be your increment. If there are only two terms, 
uh, your first term is your starting point and your last term is just your ending point and the default increment will be one. Let's say you had a large number of elements in the vector and you wanted to know the value of your nth element. For this smaller vector, I'm just going to say that I want MATLAB to tell me what is the value of the third element in my row vector. I'm going to type in the variable name assigned to the vector, so a, and then I'm going to open a parentheses, type in a colon comma three. So, I, so then I'm going to close the uh, parentheses and press enter. So MATLAB is telling me that the third element is 0 0.2. And indeed, if I look up here, I can see that the third element is 0 0.2. Let's say I wanted to create a column vector instead of a row vector. So I could simply just do uh, a uh, open parentheses, colon, and then close the parentheses. And I'm gonna call this uh, b, so b equals this. So press enter. So now I have a column vector. So note that this isn't the same as uh, transposing. Uh, for, uh, for example, if I have a matrix, I'll call, call it C, and the matrix is, let's say, uh, 4, 2, 1, 12, 3, 6. So it looks like this. If I use uh, C, open parentheses, colon, comma, uh, co oh, print, oh, close the parentheses, notice that what MATLAB does is just turn this into a column vector. So it's not the same as transposing. L let's go back to uh, vector B, so B, okay. So let's say that I want MATLAB to tell me the third element in this column vector. Well, according to what I did before, I should be able to do B, uh, open parentheses, colon, comma, three. But if I do that, I'm going to get an error. And that's because uh, this is a column vector. Everything is in one column. Last time, everything was in one row. Here, what we were telling MATLAB is that we wanted to identify the element in the third, row, uh, in the third column. Here, we need to tell MATLAB that we wanted to identify the element in the third row. So what we would do is B three comma colon, press enter. I mean, I'll close the parentheses and press enter. So this time you'll get the answer. Quick way to remember this is to remember that when you give the dimension for a matrix, it's the number of rows by the number of columns. In the first scenario, we were looking for the, uh, the value in the third column. That's why we did colon, comma three. So uh, everything's in the uh, same row. That's why we have a colon there and we're looking for the value in the third column. Here, everything's in the same column. So we have a, a colon where the column uh, would go if you're giving it as a dimension. We have a three here, which is telling MATLAB that we need the value in the third row. On that note, the colon operator can be useful for viewing a select row or column in a matrix as well. Let's go back to the matrix I had made earlier, so C. So let's say I just want to uh, you know, view the second row uh, in this uh, matrix. So what I could do is C uh, two comma colon, and then close the parentheses, press enter. So now I only get the second row. Similarly, if I wanted to view only the second column, I could do C colon comma two and then close off the parentheses. Now I'll get the second column. Another way to create a linearly spaced vector is by using the lin space command. Let's uh, clear all this out. So I'm going to create a row vector going from zero to 10. So to create a row vector going from zero to 10, 
uh, I'm going to type in A equals lens space. And then you need to give it the starting value, which is zero and the ending value, which is 10. Close off the parentheses and press enter. So as you can see, it creates a row vector starting from zero and ending at 10. And you might be wondering why the increment is weird. So what lens space does is it creates evenly spaced points. So by default, it creates 100 points. So you can see there are uh, 100 points going from 0 to 10. Uh, I, you can specify the number of points. So let's clear this. So let's say that I'm going to uh, create a row vector going from 0 to 15 uh, with 16 evenly spaced points. So A equals lin space uh, 0. 15, 16, and then comma 16 and the close off the parentheses and press enter. And you see that we get 16 points and the increment is one. If you want to figure out the increment, what you can do is take the ending point, which in this case is 15, take the starting point, which in this case is zero. And then take your uh, number of points, uh, which is 16 in this case. So the formula would be end, ending point minus starting point divided by n minus one. And when we do that, we get the answer is one. And as you can see, the increment here is by one. Let's once again, find the element in the third column. We have to do a parentheses uh, colon comma three, and we get two. And it, we can clearly see that the third element is two. And if we had made it into a column vector, we can see that, um, we would do pretty much the same thing we did last time. Oh, sorry, I, sh I have to first make it into a column vector. Um, so let's say I'm looking for B co uh, three comma colon, close the parentheses, and we get two once more. There you have it. This is how you can create a linearly spaced vector using MATLAB. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the MATLAB tutorial series, as well as the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe. Until next time, take care, guys.